Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Airman's Prophecy. In this episode, we're gonna hopefully go through this area and find some more stuff. Now there's some stuff I don't really remember quite how to get, so I may come back for them later. Um, if it takes me too long to find them. We'll see. Really does pay to look around though. Get some free armor, some free coins, uh, fish. Which, right now, it's probably one of the better healing items you can get in the game, especially since you can heal both MP and health, even though we don't have any MP at the moment. Go to the left this time. The marsh tea leaf. Cassia leaf. Very, very good. It's cast. You basically have two cassia leaves that are both worth 50 gold. So that's super nice. I do wonder, though, how you're supposed to get that thing that was down there. Because I believe if we keep going this way, we're going to reach Thias eventually. Yeah, we reached Thias. Except, I think I missed something. So I might go back for just a second to go pick that up real quick. I think there was an option to go down, and I did not go down up here. No, I think I think I got everything that I can get at this point. Never mind. Test is locked. You're gonna wanna know that notice that for later. I'm not sure if I walked past that already and just didn't notice it. Probably did. But since we've seen that then that means we're pretty good. So I'm gonna go start walking towards Thias now. See how much gold I have. 171. That's pretty darn good. We're already almost to the Thias recommended. I'm surprised how little I've been poisoned. I always feel like poison is something that's extremely uh, common. For enemies to poison you. Okay. I'll not pass. And you're gonna notice right away that there's bats. And again, like if you're not careful, they will take you out. Which this is another thing of like a test. For the later part of the game, because let me tell you, after you get to Thias, the difficulty switches on. Like they, the enemies get really tough, and like it can be very easy to get overwhelmed. Um, for some reason, those ones did not load right. They loaded in a wall, which means their sprites cannot move. weird, but okay. Hopefully this is not where I'm supposed to go. And then we have the killer bats that move freaking fast that you want to take out right away because they can just zoom up behind you and catch you completely off guard.
Yeah, I feel like I was already supposed to go this way, so I think I'm gonna go back. Rule number one of video games, never go where they, f where they think you should go. Always go away from it. That's how you get good stuff. Hey, they spawned right this time. What's in this hole? Oh, never mind, this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, just ignore me. My instincts were right the first time. 14 gold pieces of pop. Pretty darn good. You probably have to come back here and farm them if you did not have enough gold to do the required thing. Unfortunately, the bats are all right next to each other, so... You can get kind of overwhelmed by them. Like that. Thankfully we have two Cassie leaves, so I'm not exactly worried, but... It's still pretty rough. Okay. Let's go this way. Got another killer bat over there just flying around at the speed of sound. Gotta keep an eye on your health, too. Sometimes it can be hard to lock onto enemies that don't lock onto you, and that's one of the most dangerous kind of enemy. Fire Amulet. I think I want to put that on Devon. Boost fire resistance, or fire protection in this case. Locked. We're gonna have to come back here. Also, I'm gonna be doing a relatively 100% run here. I'm gonna be trying to get every single locked chest of the game. So that you guys can see at home if you want to go get this chest A or B that's locked. When you get the ability to unlock them. That you can. See what that does. Because, quite frankly, um, I didn't know about a lot of these chests being locked because I never actually... Just keep in mind, um, when I first played this game, I did actually pretty poorly. And I didn't really level a lot. And when the difficulty curve set in, I was like, man, this game's hard. But I was like level 4 at the time. So... Like... Keep in mind that there is a difficulty spike coming up. Nice use of parallax mapping. We have salamanders here. Ali class 13, Devon class 13, because those gave 12 XP. Because I'm so strong now, I can kill them in almost one cycle. Seen a chest up there? Got harpies. Very strong harpies. I was actually afraid I was gonna die there. Mm. Meat. Eat up all the meat. I'm actually surprised I'm on a hundred health cap because already. Because that's actually pretty impressive. But Devin is the tank here, one of the two. You're gonna want to go down here. Take care of this harpy. Another chunk of meat. Behind this little cave is an oak staff. The reason why you want this oak staff is you want to sell it later on. It's a good source of money. That and you probably don't know about it if you're flying at home. Because that's an easy thing to miss. 
I don't think there's anything else for me here. I'm just gonna continue on to the next uh, part. We're basically in part two of Style Mountains, and that's not right. Can't scale the wall, man. Oh, I can too, apparently. Now, see, this is what in the business we call lack of legacy. Which is fine, I mean... That was probably meant as a path for the lizards climbing up the wall, but unfortunately... Yeah, that didn't turn out right. It's red. because you take too long to fight. I've got a sword I already have. See, now, with all that really good farming that we did, we were able to get items that it, they would have given us for free along the way. So that means free money, basically. There's lions in the cave. Dial Mountain Pass. So now we're on the other side. Do not tick that guy off. He is a murderer. What you're actually going to want to do is you're not going to want to go to Thais yet. And now you know you're probably being like, but you're right there. Why wouldn't you go to Thais at this point? Because there's something down here that you're going to want to get first. Seen chest. Right there. Now, I might not survive this first attempt to get that item. And I did not. Now, see, remember what I was talking about, about difficulty spike? I'm level 13 and took a lot of time to level. And you'd think I'd be over leveled, but uh, no, I'm actually not. I'm about the level you would be. Despite those enemies. The bridge collapsed. Come back later when we fixed it. Except it's fixed. You know... There was no problems with this game in the original that I had, which was the non-free version. The one you had to buy. Um, I don't remember ever having problems with some of the stuff. Like, you can... You can really just beat the game at that rate without even... And we got a Black Oak Staff, which... I believe that's 18 damage. Much more than 10 for free. That item is actually over 300 gold. But anyway, I don't remember ever having problems with there just being exploitable bugs like that. But if Amaranth ever watches this video, please, please fix those bugs. Because... I dislike the idea of having that as a feature. The lower classes live in the south, the upper classes live in the north on the hill. We come to visit our children. My son is training to be a knight, isn't that wonderful? Traveling to the Wormwood Forest to find a legendary glass key. Poison? What would you like? Nightcrawler? Himla? It's crowded, I can't wait to get back home. Now, here's another issue. You talk to this lady. Can I get you something to drink? Hmm, let me think about it. Now, as you can see, this is a different portrait for Devin, because that's when he's older. She would not ask Devin if she, he wanted a drink when he's underage, like he's now. Only when he's older. Wanted for robbery, boy age 14 to 18, black hair, brown eyes, or thief, constable for lord. Now that we made it to Thias, I say we ended off here. Next episode of Airman's Prophecy. Continue through the city and see all the sights.